was gone. That was fun. <laughs> I don't get it, Craig. If golf makes you so miserable, why do you do because it? Because it relaxes me. <laughs> Sorry. Craig, Ooh, I'm worried about you. You push yourself at work, at the gym, at golf. You never have any time when you're just at peace. Oh, no. Here it comes. <laughs> Yoga would change your life. That's all I'm saying. So would breast implants. <laughs> Greg, yoga helps you feel relaxed and empty your mind and feel serene. More than golf? Afraid you can't do it? Uh, nice try. All right. Sorry I brought it up. I can do yoga. I'm sure you I can. I just don't want to. I understand. What time's the class? Six o'clock. I'll be there. Yay! And if you don't like it, we'll get you those breast implants. <laughs> <laughs> Larry and I have found that it's an amazing tune-up for sex. Really? Oh, yeah, because the way your blood gets flowing and your hips are loosened, you, your hips are loose, you can feel the energy pulsating straight. No, no, up. don't. <laughs> Spoil it for me. How's it going, Mr. Finkelstein? Not too shabby. I've decided I'm going to become rich. <laughs> really? Since when did you become a capitalist? There's nothing wrong with making money as long as you're environmentally responsible and treat your workers in an ethical and humane manner. His little brother bought this huge house in Marin County and it's driving him crazy. <laughs> that had nothing to do with it. I just got these great tapes. 14 days to untold wealth. I'm on day... Got him at a garage sale. He still hasn't noticed that day 10 is a Paul Anka tape. <laughs> Uh, all right, before we start tonight, um, there's a few announcements. First, Freddie here is on the ninth day of his cleansing fast. Let's all give it up for Freddie. <laughs> okay, and this is from Sherry, who teaches the Tantric Sex Workshop. You must bring a partner. I am not running a pickup scene. <laughs> Uh, oh, and finally, there was a little mix-up in last month's newsletter. The reflexology massages are in room 103, and the high colonics are in room 105. <laughs> Sorry about that, Clark. <laughs> okay, let's get started in the uh, Tadasana mountain stance, please. That's good, honey. Okay, we're really going to work our hips today. Yes! <laughs> Chins to chest. We're closing our eyes and clearing our mind and focusing on our breath. Nothing exists except your breathing. The cellular customer you have called has traveled outside the service area. Please hang up and return to a simpler way of life. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Now we're rolling forward at the waist and reaching for our toes. touch my toes. I, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, everybody, now put your hands in front of you on the floor and right foot forward, left leg back. Let's really open up those hips. Uh, okay, not so much, Abby. <laughs> All right, now put your hands in the air, palms together. What? We're gonna hold this for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. One. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you sure this mob guy's gonna snitch? Because it's our whole case. Don't worry, he'll snitch. The guy's a snitch. He's got to snitch. I mean, if he doesn't snitch, he's just a guy with a secret. <laughs> you gonna stand there like that all day? 
Give me a break. I'm practicing. Yoga is extremely difficult. Uh, well, does your husband think so, too? All right, tough guy. Try this. Okay. Oh, yeah, man, this is brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna need a manicure and a daiquiri after this. Your mother's on the phone. Do you want to talk to her now or after you're done saving Metropolis? Thanks, Marlene. Put her through. Line one. Hi, Mom. What's up? Oh, hello, darling. I, I just wanted to remind you, we're giving a little birthday party for Luddy tomorrow. How's this, Mom? Uh, yeah, but hold on. Um, oh, clowns. That's a little juvenile, isn't it? I'll try again, Mum. No, no, no. It's your choice, Luddy. It's your birthday party. <laughs> Is 12 noon all right? It's uh, on my calendar. Good. Oh, and darling, bring a birthday gift. A nice one, but not silver or liquor. She has enough of both. Yes, Mother. G goodbye, Mother. Oh, man, it's my mother's maid's birthday. What do you suppose she'd like? Best years of her life back? <laughs> I don't know, Larry, I don't know. I feel weird about asking Greg's father for money. Don't worry about it, Dharma. He'll make it back in 14 days. Paul Anka wouldn't lie. <laughs> Dharma, what Hi. a pleasant surprise. Hello, Finkelstein. Ed, I am gonna make you a very rich man. You're about three generations late. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. When was the last time the sole of your foot touched the back of your head? What the hell is he talking about? He wants to make a video of my yoga class. Oh, you need to borrow the camcorder. No, we want to do a professional video and mass market it. And donate the profits to charity. A percentage of the profits. We got to eat too, right, Ed? <laughs> Picture this. Dharma in a lotus position on the beach. Soft focus, ethereal music, the odd seagull. Baka, 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 baka. And Dharma. Why don't we just borrow the camcorder? No, come on. Do the thing with the breathing. Dig this. All right, well, usually I start by asking everyone to close their eyes. How do they see the video? <laughs> just do it, Ed. Okay, then I say. Just focus on your breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Shed all the distractions of the day, the phone calls, the errands, and slowly breathing, return to the self you lost along the way, the person you used to be. Then just be that person. <laughs> Well, it doesn't do anything for me, but the lady folk might go for it. You know women. You could probably sell them a whole new wardrobe for it, too. Hey, that's a great idea. What is? You know, if this thing is as popular as you say it is, we ought to open up some of these yoga places in the strip malls. We could sell them clothes right there. Pack them in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Sell them a blouse on the way out. Brilliant. <laughs> And we can put in juice bars in the lobby. Hey, and we can sell in some of that fen fen they love so much. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. What happened to the video? What happened to Charity? What happened to Larry Finkelstein? He's swimming in the big pool now. <laughs> the big pool is nice, Dharma. <laughs> oh, God, I just remembered. I can't do this. I have a soul. <laughs> We should probably go with a celebrity anyway. You know, Dolly Parton might look good in a leotard. All right, you won salute to the sun. Ten bucks on this lungy thing? You got it. Oh, I'm sorry, Dharma. This is the craziest idea your father's ever had. <laughs> uh -uh. Remember when he got involved in that whole pyramid scheme? We all had to go door to door selling those big aluminum pyramids. <laughs> All right, everyone release the position and go into a squat position. Release the position. You release it. I'm perfectly comfortable like this. So, so am I. Squat now. Oh. Right, five bucks on the Chinese bus stop. Make it ten. Are we bed?
betting on yoga? N no. I wouldn't even know where to begin to do that. <laughs> All right, everybody, roll onto your backs and slowly lift your legs straight up into the air. Uh, Jennifer, you have a little hole in your leotard there. <laughs> All right, now advanced students, open those legs wide into a straddle position. Uh, beginners in Jennifer, keep your legs together. <laughs> can Montgomery possibly keep up with him? 20 bucks says he can. All right, now it looks easier than it is, so be careful, because if you push too hard, you could possibly oh, strain uh -huh. your groin. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we've got a winner. We've got oh, hamstring. Hamstring. <laughs> Boys, Tums. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi. Before you say anything, I'm fine to go to work. I'm perfectly okay. Oh, good. Great. Come here and give me a goodbye kiss. Very funny. It hurts, but I still have to go to work. What do you absolutely have to do that it can't wait till tomorrow? I've got to get these to word processing today. I've got... All I'm... right, I'll turn in your homework. <laughs> what else? I got a bunch of stuff I could get a jump on. Jump? You couldn't even towel off below the waist. You watch that? I always watch that. <laughs> I set my alarm to watch that. <laughs> Dharma, I can't just stay home. Greg, don't you understand? This injury is the universe's way of telling you to slow down. Well, any universe that talks to me through my groin can go around the corner and kiss my butt. Here's what you're going to do. You're not going to watch TV. You're not going to go to work. You're not going to talk on the phone. You're going to sit right here, relax, and just be in the moment. And do nothing? Yeah, you're right. It's probably too advanced for you. Hey, wait a minute. I can do nothing. It's a lot harder than it looks. Oh, please. I'll bet you I can do absolutely nothing all day. I'll bet you you can't do it without making a bet. You're on. I just won. Can I help you? Oh, hi. You must be Marlene. Uh, I'm Dharma. I talked to you on the phone. Oh, you're Greg's wife. What are you, like eight feet tall? Uh, no, I'm 5'10". Oh, it's a different world up there at 5'10", isn't it? Never have to sit on a phone book. Never have to have a pair of pants. See the bald spots before you sleep with the guys. Well, you know, no, I'm wearing heels, so... <laughs> Me too. Look, can we just start over? Look, uh, Greg's not feeling well, and he asked me to make sure that these got to word processing. Oh, sure. I'll scurry on down on my stubby little legs because I'm just your own little personal Oompa Loompa. Hey, Marlene. Get a hell. Pete, why is she so mean? She's a federal employee. The term's disgruntled. So, uh, where's the little mister? Home resting. Wimp. Anything you need, I'll do it. Uh,. Tell Greg that uh, we made a deal with the snitch and he's going to turn over the tapes and uh, we just got to set up a meet. Gotcha. Oh, uh, by the way, did uh, any of the young ladies at your yoga class uh, ask if yours truly would be coming back? Yeah, but not in the way you're hoping. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Kitty. No, Greg's not in today. No, 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 don't worry. He told me about the party and I'm going to get a gift for the meet. Yeah, no, nothing serious. He just pulled his groin. What else am I supposed to call it, Kitty? <laughs> the muscle near his penis? <laughs> yeah. Groin doesn't sound so bad now, does it? <laughs> Christmas gift for Kitty, our bodies, ourselves. Abby. Yeah. Hey, um, listen. I need your help. I have to get something for Kitty's maid, and I don't really know what to... Oh, hang on. Hello? Tapes? What tapes? Oh, God, you're the snitch. Uh, okay, we have to set up a meet. Hang on. Pete! Pete! 
Marlene? Oh, boy. Okay. <sighs> Rake's office, please hold. No, Kitty, hold on. No, Kitty, hold on. No, Kitty, hold on. I said hold on. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Oh, Abby. Uh, uh, hang on. Hello? Kitty, no fair. You're only allowed to be on one line at a time. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Greg's parents' address is 625 Pinehurst. Meet me there by noon. Hi. All right, so I need you to bring the tapes to the basement of the federal building. I'm blonde and I'm eight feet tall. <laughs> oh man, this is living doing nothing. Kicking back, chilling out, talking to myself, responding to myself, starting to really worry about myself. Now, my lawyer has drawn up an informal partnership agreement. Um, very standard. Just sign right there. Wait a minute. How do I know what this says? <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Hold on, Ed. Before we formalize anything, I'd like to discuss my salary. Salary? I'm not going to pay you a salary. You haven't done anything. What are you talking about? I brought you the idea. But the idea hasn't made any money yet. Oh, I see how this is gonna go. You gorge yourself at the trough while I'm supposed to be happy sucking the crumbs off your $2,000 ties. I never paid more than $40 for a tie in my life. I don't even own a tie. Well, what's your point then? Where's my tie? <laughs> Fagelstein, get out. What? I'm not gonna do business with you. Go home. All right. In that case, let's talk about my severance package. No. <laughs> day after day after day. How do you do it? Hello? Hello? Oh, no. What? Oh, God, I said a mobster may be a professional killer to Kitty Montgomery's house. What are you going to do? Oh, God. I got to get there before she hurts him. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hi, Jane. What you doing? Oh, just relaxing, trying the meditation thing that Dharma does. It's really great. Right on. I'll leave you alone then. No, 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 no. I can do that later. We never get a chance to talk. Why is that? Because you think I'm creepy. <laughs> Not creepy. Quirky. <laughs> creepy, quirky, quirky, creepy. You're bored off your ass, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's sake, slutty, no more balloons. The sooner we do this, the sooner you get to clean up and have the rest of the afternoon off. <laughs> Have you seen a strange man sneaking around here? Oh, the Rottweilers have someone treed in the backyard. Maybe that's who you're looking for. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday, Letty. I gotta go. Fourteen days to untold wealth. Well, I'll be given my two weeks' notice then. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Letty. Happy birthday to you. Sorry about the mix-up. Did you bring the tapes? The deal's off. Why? I'm nervous, all right? Oh, understandable. God, <laughs> you're under so much pressure. Okay, um, try this. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Relax. And just let go. <laughs> Are you serious? Then I went out with Randy. That didn't last long. But he did turn me on to cat milk, which you can drink straight, but makes a really nice, sharp cheese. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty quirky, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Oh, Dharma, good. If you stay home tomorrow, I'll bring lunch. You like quesadillas? I used to. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Later. Later. So, how'd it go? Terrible. I, mean, I didn't really do anything, but I couldn't turn my brain off. I, I kept thinking, which long-distance carrier we should use? Should I switch from boxers to briefs? How fast do you have to drive to always stay in the sun? In case you're interested, it's 1,037 miles an hour. It's not your fault, Greg. I've seen your world. It's full of nutballs, and they all have your number on speed dial. So you see what I mean? I'm hopeless. I'll never learn to relax. I'll never... What were you thinking of just then? Nothing. I was just kissing you. Hey, that was it. I wasn't thinking. You were in the moment. I was in the moment. How do you like that? Do it again. Hmm. Wait a minute. You're not here. Where'd you go? About 15 minutes in the future, and we're both naked. I'll meet you there. <laughs> up, up, up. Hang on. Don't start without me. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I gotta say, there were quite a few times there when I was completely in the moment. Good for you. Other times I was listing state capitals in my head, but that was entirely for your benefit. Yay, good for me. 